What's going on guys, it's the Wistful Gamer and I'm here to bring you some tips, uh, classes slash mode styles for COD Ghosts. I'm going to give you the one that I'm using, the one that I always use when I start a new game, a new COD game and the one that I seem to suit best and it works really well for me no matter how I play. I've split them up into sort of different the different modes, the four being um, assault, defense, flank, and rush. It might seem obvious what they are, but I'll go into detail of all of them. Defense being support as well. So first of all, my support class is all set up in auto rifle. And the first clue there is auto rifle. I would recommend using an assault rifle or a submachine gun or heavy machine or sniper or right shield. Anyone that's going to give you the benefit of supporting your team from long range, short range and mid range. So you've got to understand that all the play styles for the four modes will change. So for this one being support you're going to have to stay with the team, help them as much as you can, assist, spot enemies, supply them with ammo which will come later on and recon so keep an eye of where everyone is and help them know where everyone is. I'm going to run through the current class that I've got set up. My primary is the SC2010. It's the assault rifle that is all unlocked already for you. The camo does not matter, the reticle does not matter, although I did have the precision one on. Attachments, extended mags I have first of all, just to give us plenty of bullets and plenty of firepower. And I've also got the reef, the red dot sight. That just gives us a little bit more accuracy and very cheap. Next up is our secondary, that's a PDW, or you can choose any handgun you like, with an attachment, does not matter, nothing specific, in terms of challenges, I'm going to put on armor pierce in there just to give us a bit more damage, and next up, the lethal, I've gone with the standard, the bog standard frag grenade, you can go with the semtex if you like, it's up to you. The tactical, I've gone for the box standard again, the concussion, again you can choose any of them apart from smoke and a large low damage blast radius and weakens armor. I'd recommend concussion or the nine bang, which is just a flashbang. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the perks, I'm using on this one, sleight of hand, just to keep us filled up with bullets, so it gives us faster reload. On the go, which is reload while sprinting, just so you can constantly keep your fire power up, but also get away and get two. Amplify is a preference for me having headphones, louder enemy footsteps. Reduce weapon sway using focus, which gives us higher accuracy. And last but not least, extra tactical just for those risky moments when you feel someone's coming behind you, you turn around, chug it, you've got another one just in case it happens again. One thing we need to remember is that with this support style, in terms of the strike package, we are not going to be knocked back every time we die. The, the streak will keep awarded. As I mentioned in the other video, your streak count persists through the death, reward, support your team. So we're going to choose a strike package support. And I'm going to use the standard SATCOM, ammo, crate, and the Oracle. What this does for us is SATCOM will use satellite communications, as it says, to relay enemy movements. And if we have multiple ones, then that's going to enhance the effect. The ammo crate is going to supply the enemy, supply your team with ammo and weapons. It'd be pretty pointless if it supplied your enemy. Supply your team with ammo and um, a random weapon, I believe, when selected. And the Oracle uses GPS technology to detect and display enemy. This one is the one to work for. It flashes every 15 seconds, giving your teammates the chance to see where the enemies are for two seconds. So if one is running around a corner and you see this orange thing light up, It'll be there for two seconds, you know that's an enemy. It's not a friendly, so do start shooting. It lets you prejudge the corner. It's all about balance, remember, though, because they could have, I don't know, they could have fast disappearing perk or whatever perks they've got going on here. Um, so that's the strike package. That's nice and simple, hopefully. I've given you a run over of mine. Basically, your job is to support the team and assist them and use the ammo crates, use the oracle, use the satcom to the best effect. It'll all add up so just keep fighting forwards. Kills even if you're sat in a rough area protecting or defending then just keep going for the kills because the more then the more chance you've got of getting your strike package to help out the team even more. 
So that's my support. I hope it didn't make too much complication. If it did, then let us know and I can answer any questions. But if it helped, then leave a like and subscribe for plenty more. And I'm going to be covering the Assault, the Flanker and the Rush classes too. So, thanks for watching. Bye.